Hello loves, hello, welcome or welcome back to my little corner. As you guys can tell by the title, we're having a little romanticizing time alone, being with yourself and just enjoying that time when it's just you alone and there's no friends, no whoever you might always take along with you to do things. So just like literally doing things by yourself and enjoying that time with you and no one else but you i'm so excited for this because i'm always alone <laughs> because i don't know like i just really enjoy time alone like i feel like i am a very hectic introvert but i can also be an extrovert to very certain boundaries okay but i honestly love time alone i love being by myself and not that i don't like being with my friends and stuff like that i do but time alone and time with people it's the same thing for me because each time i enjoy myself but i enjoy myself more by myself today is saturday so it's gonna be a little weekend spending time alone so i'm so excited for it because i just got ready and if you guys aren't the type to love time by yourself why like you're you like no one else is you why don't you want to spend time with the most unique person in this world which is yourself plus you don't need to go on anyone's time schedule you don't need to be up and ready for anything or anything you don't really want to do so it's all about you you're living in your world and that's one thing i love it's just living in my world doing the things i love to do i keep on saying this but i love to do the little things that people find boring or tedious or who would do that today we're going to a little place to sit and read because you guys already saw on my little bedside table when i was doing my bed this morning i started with boss salt and guys i cannot believe this i cannot believe how it's going and how it started everything i can't believe everything in this book right now it's mind-blowing because everything is connecting in the most bizarre way that i didn't think of it's so exciting so look where we are i'm almost halfway through this book and i started a week ago this is just crazy to me because i love it so much it makes me so happy and the fact that this is the last book i <laughs> No. What we're gonna do today is go to a little place. Um, I think I'm gonna go to this pastry shop that I've been at with my friends before. And I was thinking, oh, this could be like a nice time to spend alone, like in this little area, read, edit, whatever. Today we're just gonna read and get a little drink, get a little something to eat. And I also got myself a cute little hairstyle going. Like, I love it with my little flower clip. And my outfit, you guys saw my outfit for the day. Just a little plain shirt with a little white skirt. I'm so excited. And then I'm gonna put that little cardigan thing over my shoulders. I don't know, I love this type of look. I already packed a bit of my things, just like my cards and things I need. I just need to add this big thing, like this big, big book. Book packed in my favorite, favorite bag. Bag packed, all I need to do is put my cardigan over my shoulders and then wear my little cute shoes. These ones, I've been wearing them so much. Oh my gosh, they're so nice. These are from Cotton On. Spend time with me alone. Do the things you enjoy, do the things you love. Do everything you feel like your higher self would want you to do. And that's what we're doing.
There's such an art to spending time alone and spending time by yourself. It's a time where you can appreciate and love yourself. There are so many different ways and things to do in order to spend time with yourself. For example, finding a new coffee shop to go to like I'm doing right now, even though I've been here once before, but I've never been here alone. And that's one thing I've always wanted to do, to just be comfortable with going out, being free, being myself, whilst being by myself. You can also take a relaxing walk, whether it's in silence with nature, or some music playing, or a podcast, just to keep your mind company. Or it can be a creative activity, such as art, or creating your goals on Notion or a mood board from Pinterest that will just bring out the creative side within yourself. It's a time where you enjoy your free time. It's an opportunity for you to just enjoy your free time by just being you, alone in your thought process and in your own world of ideas. It also just allows you to recenter with self, to be comfortable with yourself as well as the person that you are and the person that you want to be. Being alone takes in the quietness of life that just brings you peace, joy and happiness. you guys see the difference I changed one of the pictures in this corner just pointed it out in case you missed it I am back home and I had the loveliest time I don't even know how to explain it I was just in such a peaceful tranquil state and all I was focused on was just reading like how fun was that like I had so much fun and the people there because I was the only person sitting there were so kind like when I got in it was quiet and just like empty it looked a bit deserted because I don't know where the people are today it's a Saturday and no one is out literally no one is out maybe it's because of the heat because it's hot like it's blazing with the sun like i don't know where this is coming from but this is extreme summer like i can't believe it i've never felt this type of heat at home like this is crazy so i don't know if it's that which i totally understand it's hot it's too hot to function or to do fun things yeah i was the only one there but as soon as i walked in i was just greeted with such kindness and like i just love it when people are kind like when they acknowledge your presence and you know you acknowledge their presence like everything is just flowing like the kindness the nice vibes everything the whole duration of me sitting there it was just like that and as soon as i sat down like five ten minutes in they started playing like the most beautiful music like just like paris cafe vibe settings i don't know like it was so fun so the fact that they put on some music and i was just so happy music playing to calm me and to make me feel like i'm that girl <laughs> i enjoyed it so much so to a successful trip and eating alone and having a little date on my own i'm so proud of myself i honestly had the best time i think i read like three four chapters that was amazing <laughs> um had a really good beverage and everything was just perfect and I left at a really decent time like I think I was there for an hour and a half and now we're back home so that was wonderful 
wonderful. It's so hot. I kid you not. There are things in my water because of lemon. We're gonna set up a few things right now. Because why? We were distracted at first and we went to Pep home. We bought a few things and I'm so excited. I'm so excited I could cry. So I'm gonna set up a few things. Like I feel like I just needed a bit more storage things for certain areas in my room. So I'm gonna see where I'm gonna place them. You guys know I like things. So I'm quickly gonna do a little haul for you guys and then see what I got. Like I got a few other things as well. So we're gonna do a little haul time and then we're gonna set it up. Also, I just really love how I look today. Like I love this look so much. I'm living out my Pinterest board and my Pinterest dreams in terms of my outfits and I am loving the vibe. We just have two bags because we didn't go crazy and I actually want to show you guys something I got at DNA the other day. I was also just like kind of looking for a few things but I didn't really want to buy anything because I was just checking. I want to show you guys that first actually because I cannot believe that this was marked off. Guess in the comments what it is before I actually open it. I am romanticizing my reading era because I love it so much. Like I've been reading more than usual and it's so crazy to me. Like everything is just falling into place. Like the habits I'm creating, the things I want to do and the things I want to like accomplish and like just live in my dream life in the now. I bought another reading book because it was cheap. It was on sale at PA and they had a few books on sale, like going for 150. I don't know if there were ones for 100. And I saw the author I've been wanting to try out and like read her novels. I saw one of her books there and I was like, the storyline seemed great because apparently she's very similar in like Lucinda's writing and things like that. So they like the same vibe and I could already feel it when I read the back of the book. This one was 150 and it's by the author Santa Montefiore. Montefiore. I don't really know how to say this. I don't speak French. So I got the bookkeeper's daughter by Santa for 150 what a good deal okay her books are normally like 225 or 200 whatever whatever doesn't matter if something is on sale and it's a novel you have to get it because novels really you can't like compromise that so i'm so excited it's a short read right so it has can't believe i have a new book it has 389 pages and i am so excited to start it like the storyline is so it's it's giving what I need to read. So I'm gonna put this in my bookshelf as well. So first at Woolworths, I bought myself crushed wheat sourdough bread. I just wanted sourdough bread and this was the only type that was there. So I don't know if it's like a thing where you have different types of sourdough, but I wanted to try this because apparently it has, like it's the best bread, like compared to brown bread, seeded bread, whatever bread, it's apparently the best bread to have very high in fiber low in total and saturated fats and all of that so i really am looking forward to trying this we're gonna try this tomorrow and romanticize our breakfast again it was very expensive guys i honestly don't know because at the till i was already like okay let me just get it because i want to try it and one thing about me i don't really care when i spend money on something i really wanted or something i really want to try so that's also part of me like just living the life i want to live because money comes and goes so there's no need to hold on to your money because you need to love right <laughs> so let's start with the little crates storage little crates i know i have a lot of these right but I need more. Like I need one for, I got this white one for up there to put a few of those loose like spray cans in because I like to spray my room randomly and just make it smell nice and fresh. So I feel like a nice container for them would be so cute, like just there on the shelf. And we're gonna do that now. And then a pink one for, I'm not sure. I just got an extra one in case I need more storage somewhere. I will find something to put in here so quick. One of these will like 13 Namibian dollars. That's a good deal. That's a great deal. I got a little medium sized one, a white one, and this was 40 bucks. This one, I'm gonna put some of my art supplies in because some of them are just overcrowding that table and I don't like it. So these are the little crates. The last thing I got on my little like triple 
alone. It's a house level item, a kitchen vibe. If you can guess, guess quickly. Okay, it's a mug. <laughs> it's literally a mug and it's so cute. It's so big. That's the only reason I got it because it's big and T and me are like this, like this. So I got a bigger one. The pink, the white is what got me. So this was 25 bucks. I had to get it. We're gonna drink out of it tomorrow because Sundays, this is the new addition to our little tea corner. And I'm so happy because why not? I didn't buy two this time because I know I have this thing where I need two of everything. I'm really happy with the things I got. So cute.
Hello everyone. Hi, it's Sunday and it's basically the end of the day. I had such a calm day and such a fun day at that. Like all I did was read like two chapters of my book and then I went through Pinterest a bit. Like I wanted some inspo, just ideas for me to create a new mood board for the last two months of the year. Um, yeah, October is almost done, so I want to do that. I also like posted a hairstyle on Instagram. I did my little tutorial on my hairstyle that I did yesterday, so I'll put it up here if you guys want to see it. And don't be shy, click the follow, and I am ready to get more hairstyles up. The remainder of the evening, I just want to go make something quick to eat. I want to do like a quick 30 minute Pilates workout. I don't want to do too much because I just got my period today as well. So I just want to kind of move a bit to like not have cramps tomorrow or whatever the case is. I don't know. I'll see how I feel. And then I want to take a nice long bath. Sundays I always used to like take baths and just take it slow in terms of like my hygiene routine and all of that. And then we're going to paint. I paint a lot alone. Like I love painting and it's just... The most satisfying thing ever like i usually make my evening times my painting times with a cup of tea and just literally unwind and be in the painting and just think of new ideas while i'm painting and just having the time to myself the best thing ever so let's get into eating something and then moving our bodies just a little even if it's just for 15 minutes i don't care as long as i move my body today other than that i hope you guys are okay i hope you guys are enjoying this vlog so far just romanticizing your time alone if it's in your room in your house somewhere else outside just enjoy your time by yourself i really have been enjoying my time this year so far it's been crazy to me how much i've grown within myself and just the things that bring me joy and it's the most simplest things that bring me joy these days and it's like i would have never imagined 